the loss of the sacred feminine, these are all related to one problem, just one, one big problem, which is the lack of the divine feminine at the center of our lives, the lack of the divine feminine anywhere in our lives, the actual incredible uh, imbalance on the planet right now where everything is skewed towards valuing the masculine without even considering what is the feminine? What's her perspective, her agenda, her needs, her prerogatives, her energy system? What does it require for her to flourish? We've got all the women of the planet now struggling to uh, just barely survive in a world made for the, the men. Say the men are fishes and they've got their water to swim in, but women are birds and we don't have air. We're down in there in the water. What can we do? We have to grow gills. We have to become fish. We have to become men because we don't have what we need in daily life, in the home, in the job, in our uh, in thousands of realms, in every chakra of our life. We are not being nourished as divine feminine beings. So this is a, actually a very practical journey. It's a journey I want to take you on, the Divine Feminine Passion Course, to take you back to what life that embraces the Divine Feminine really is about, what it looks like, what it feels like, and what it is practically in each domain, in each chakra. So it's a chakra journey. We're going to go through the seven chakras and we're going to call... Um, <laughs> We're going to uh, look at what happens when you really synergize with the masculine feminine balance and, and you bring them together. How this eighth chakra is created of complete synergistic flow. And when you get there, now let's talk about, we talked about the problem, you know, and how the planet is going down in a handbasket because of the, the masculine agenda to keep building and to keep, you know, taking without giving back and capitalism and power over. We know all that. Okay. But, ooh, when you come back, what happens when you come back to balance? Oh, it's so exciting. You got this, this reality where the, the polarities are giving each other energy. They are rocking it. They are um, feeding each other by being different, not the same, not make, making men be women, not making women be men. Or let's call this, let's allow it to be a little more open than that. You, you might be a woman who has a lot of masculine energy or a man with a lot of feminine energy. Let's just call it the masculine and the feminine. You choose which side you want to be on, what's natural to you. Because it's not always about gender. It's usually about the energy that you need to run to be whole and freely yourself and the polarity that you personally need to be involved with to feel your, um, your, your energy ignited, your energy fed. Now, some people are right in the middle. They're really feminine, masculine, balanced, and they usually need to be with energies around them that are also balanced. Uh, but no matter what, everybody needs the feminine to come back. Everybody needs it. Without her, none of us are going to survive as a species. So join me um, for an outcome that is going to bring balance to the planet harmony in all domains of life. Uh, it's going to bring your passion back. This course is going to bring your sexuality to an all new level of in cosmic lovemaking. Uh, you're going to learn how to pleasure the feminine heart, body, and soul. <laughs> you're going to, um, you're going to get out of the whole power struggle because that's no longer going to be what you're doing. You're going to actually acknowledge the feminine so she doesn't have to be fighting for her life all the time. And, and you're going to, once you honor her, she's going to honor the masculine. You're not going to have to feel bad about the yang energy that you run. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, this is gonna be so great. So take the course with me. Sign up. Um, I'm I'm in the process of creating. I've been 